Hello, my friends of Hattery Labs. My name is Hormon Toya. Uh, please call welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about a Python class for crop line recognition. And this is with Rasterio and Psychic Image. So this, uh, you are going to receive on the description of the video, the zipped folder or the RAR version of this folder. Okay, so you place that on your documents and then we are going to open that on Anaconda Prom. Okay. CD documents, CD documents, CD Python class, okay, and then we launch Jupyter Lab. Okay, so why we have done a Jupyter a Python class for crop product recognition? Because, uh, well, if you are, uh, if you are aware of uh, Python, there is a thing that is called Python class that allows you to create a class, okay, so mostly is that allows you to store functions and variables, okay, uh, but this makes really handy when you want to do analysis many times, I mean, when you want to do analysis with a total control on the variables, okay, if you want to do that many times, you can use a Python class. Okay, the, on the simple way, because there are uh, other ways where you can do it more um, when you can work uh, with uh, inheritance and so on. Okay, so we, uh, you are going to receive this, that is with class. Okay, and this is based on the class that is on another file on working functions. Okay, so this is the class that at the beginning uh, stores a lot of variables that is required for this analysis. Okay, and by storing the variables here in the class, it allows you to uh, do a lot of stuff with just calling just the functions. Okay, so you will have in the end as a on the user, you will have less scripts. Okay, so let's see how it, does it work. First, we uh, import Crop recognition and then your pandas. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are some. Uh, well, this I think that this depends on the Anaconda version, and there are some um, problems on the compatibility. Okay, but this not from my from our side. Okay, so we create a crop recognition object with the path of the uh, raster of the drone corto photo okay the the path has to be here and this will create a crop lines object okay so and then we can work whether we can work with the red band with the green band or the blue band because actually it works with one band i have been working with the uh, green band and it works well i mean if for you that works with the red band actually there is no no problem. I mean, you have to try. That is why this is a parameter on the class. Okay, so we can plot the band that we have. Okay, so this is the green band. Okay, so the this class for crop uh, uses a candy filter, and for the candy filter, we have to define a sigma. Okay, for that really depends on your on the crop that you are going to use and the photo. But for some photos, you can try it out with, for example, with here, with one, two, and three, and this will be enough. But for this case, we are going to try it out with three, four, and six, or like, let's see, four, five, and six. That is also possible. Okay, so we can display the candy filter to see how the candy filter actually varies, okay, according to the sigma. So this is, we have the, okay, I'm going to increase that. We have the, I cannot increase, the canyon 4, the canyon 5, and the canyon 6. And as you see, as you see here, okay, so I think that with sigma of 5 or with sigma of 6, we can have a, a great crop recognition. Okay, so we define that the sigma is 6, 
okay and then we show the field okay so this will actually create a, a raster a boolean raster of true and false and then we are going to recognize the lines of that so here we have the lines and these are the interpreted lines okay okay so it's really interesting but there is a line here that was not interpreted i don't know why well this come from the okay and then we have to provide an area of interest as a chef file as a polygon chef file why because you can have a huge field but then you are going to extract the the crop lines in just one part okay so that that is why you are going to uh, on just with this geometry okay and then we are going to clip the interpreted lines to the geometry this is uh, because we actually the lines are not on the extension okay they are much sometimes are they are much larger and then we are going to export that to crop rows okay then we can plot yeah then we can plot our interpreted lines with the uh, raster okay we can plot that okay and then we see yeah that this is the these are the interpreted rasters okay that they work really well that these partial lines are not being recognized and this i mean this can be associated with the okay with the package itself or with another parameter that we have not taken into account okay uh, and that's it okay so what is the advantage of using a python class so that in just 13 cells okay you have created a whole procedure okay that export i mean that creates the a chef file okay and you can even compare and then if you want to play around you can play around with uh, the sigma you can play around with the band and then you can here you can set it up for interpreting another field okay and then here you can set it up to interpret another extensions as well okay so that is the advantage of the can of the python class because the python class give you more flexibility to do custom analysis okay so this is the end of the tutorial and thank you for following us till here just to mention that he, we have a shop, okay, this is a new website where we have diplomas, asynchronous diplomas, we have courses, and then we have as well the recorded version of our webinars in a platform where you can just uh, buy things through with your credit, your debit card, or with PayPal, and then you can... Uh, you can get these uh, courses or webinars okay just remember that uh, by uh, buying from our uh, shop you are really supporting our research okay have a great day and see you in another course webinar also